Hello and thanks for joining us for what is a very special video today. This is our first track guide for GT7 in association with Curious Esports and it's for the Audi R8 around Daytona which is Daily Race C. Uh, it's 10 laps in Group 3 cars. The uh, Viper, the Audi R8 and the Huracan seem to be the fastest cars but uh, I've only got the R8 so I've gone with that which seems to be the most popular car anyway. This particular setup is one that I got from watching Digitstream earlier and I think was originally made by Key25. So uh, it's a really great setup, very solid for quality and for race and immediately improved my qualifying time. You do need to watch out for fuel saving on this race so make sure that you're switching your fuel maps when you can, when you're up to speed along the straights or when you're coasting behind somebody, definitely switch into fuel map 2 or 3 because you're going to need to save up a little bit uh, or you're going to find yourself not making it to the pit stop. It needs to be pitting at lap 5, so that's end of lap 5 so you'll need enough fuel to make it there. The setup's going to flash up on the screen just for a few seconds, so pause the video if you want to copy it down, and definitely recommend using these settings. And in terms of brake balance, I put that to minus three. That's the only thing you can't see on the screen. So here's the setup, and then once that goes away, we'll get into the lap guide. So hopefully you've got those settings all plugged in now, and we are running TC on one for the qualifying here. First brake marker we're looking out for is the black signal light that's hanging out from the fence there. So just on the right hand side as that goes past. Braking in a straight line, really really important to make sure you've not got any lock on the steering when you first start braking in this game. Down to second gear, get as close to those tyres on the left as you can and then with the TC on you can see you really start feeding the power in uh, quite early compared to how you would do uh, if you weren't running the traction on. Next brake marker is the orange cones on the right here, so we're braking just before the car gets to those. Down into first gear, I do go a little bit wide here, you want to be a bit closer to the yellow curbing where the number one time is, but I managed to get around okay. And you can use all this runoff on the left here without getting a penalty at all. Through this next section we are flat, but make sure you definitely do not lift at all. If you lift as you come around this left hander, the car will spin, but if you keep your foot planted you'll be absolutely fine. And then we're looking to the path here on the left, about halfway along, braking, or again you could use the orange cones on your right. Stay out wide uh, a bit later than you think here and then you want to turn in an apex quite late on that thick yellow curb in there and then you can start feeding the power and if you turn in too early you're going to find yourself pointing off to the left of the track so make sure you late apex there and about halfway along this runoff road on your right getting on the brakes down to second and make sure you cut this yellow curb in here on your left. Once the car has rotated around sufficiently you can start feeding the power in. It's really important there to make sure you do clip that yellow curb, you don't go too wide or you're going to be um, not able to get on the power early enough down an important section. Once again here I'm looking at the black flag marker just in between the 2 and the 1 flag on the fence. So in between the 2 and the 1 you see a black signal box hanging out, coming down to 4th initially but then 3rd and you want to clip again a little bit of that yellow curbing and don't use too much of the grass runoff. You won't get a penalty for going on the grass there but it bounces the car around all over the place, it's not as consistent and I definitely recommend clip a little bit of that last uh, yellow curve on your right and you'll get a great exit. So uh, please do drop a like if you've enjoyed the video, the lap's going to play out at full speed now and that was good enough to say for a 145.5 so I hope that's given you some good pointers and it's definitely a really great setup so uh, thanks to Key and Digit for sharing that and good luck in your races on GT7. Thanks very much, goodbye.